My favorite references in What If Episode 2. Spoilers. In the Collector's Collection alone, we had Cosmo the Space Dog, a Dark Elf, obviously Howard the Duck in an incredible cameo, both Captain America's shield and Mjolnir right next to it, Malekith's dagger from Thor Dark World, Hela's headpiece and Necro Sword, meaning he took out the Avengers, Hela, the Collector got to work. The Collector also has an arm he took off a quote, very talkative Cronin, Cronin is the race, of Korg, who was in fact very talkative, I think, I think the Collector killed Korg. And if you look closely at all of these ships, an X-Wing. Right there in the center. In the original Guardians of the Galaxy, Peter Quill Star-Lord was stealing the orb for profit. In What If, T'Challa Star-Lord, complete with purple eyes, is stealing the orb to help the Krylorians. It's a quick mention, but a very cool one, because we've seen the Krylorians in a number of places, including Peter Quill's girlfriend in Guardians 1, on Xandar, and most notably, karmically, as the assistant to the Collector himself, which ends up being his downfall. Soon thereafter, speaking of the Legend of Star-Lord, Diamon Hansu as Korath mentions the bank heist on Tarnax 4. Tarnax is very important in the comics as it is the homeworld and throne world of the Skrulls, and when it's destroyed by Galactus, that leads to Secret Invasion. Secret Invasion is another show coming to Disney+. We also had the surprise return of Josh Brolin as Thanos, and when someone references him as crazy, he says he's not crazy, he's mad. This is a very fun nod to his title in the comic books, The Mad Titan. There's also a brief mention that Thanos is chill now because he took up farming, which is actually what he's in the comics and what he did in Avengers Endgame after he destroyed half the population. Uh, he found some peace farming. And those were just some of 